There is a new feature in NewsBank called Image Edition. We always used to get some of the local papers in NewsBank, but now that they have the Image Edition, you can actually see the visual paper instead of just text. So from the NewsBank front page here, instead of doing a search, I'm gonna go down to the right-hand side here where there's quick links, and then they list newspaper collections. Now, the Observer Dispatch comes in an image edition, so does the Post Standard. And I've clicked here under USA New York, and I've found that the Buffalo News is also image edition. And there may be a few more in there as well. So I'm going to click in the Observer Dis Dispatch, since it's one of our local papers, and take a look. Let me move myself there. Okay. So I can do a couple of different things. I can do a search in the search box, or I can go straight to the newspaper. Now here's what I was talking about before with the format. We had the text formats, we've always had that, but sometimes it didn't load for a couple of days. So like today's paper, I would have to wait a couple of days to get it. Well now with the image edition, they're loading this at two o'clock in the morning. So I can get today's paper. So under the image format here, I'm gonna click on Observer Dispatch. Now today is October 14th. So I'm gonna take a look for that particular issue. Now it tells me I'm still in the Observer Dispatch at the top, and I can do a search of all, all the papers that they've had loaded here, or I could go to the recent issues, and the top five are here at the top, and I can click on October 14th, or I could jump to any date that I want to. So if I click on today's paper, it's going to load and actually show me in color an image of the newspaper. So here's what we see. Now, when I have my little hand, I can scroll up to see the rest of the paper. I can use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. I can also use the thumbnails here on the right hand side to jump to different pages of the paper. Now when I jump, it takes a second because the Wi-Fi is working. Okay, I'm loading everything here. All right, so here's some local. All right, so if I want to take something from the paper. I, can, I have several options up here. One, you always need a citation um, for Mr. Donnelly or for language arts classes. Um, so I can click on that. And we are Modern Language Association. So it added the citation right here at the top. Okay, I can email it to myself. So put in your email, you can put in a message if you needed to, but if it's to yourself, then you can just hit send. When it does that, it sends you a link and you don't have to log back into NewsBank. You can just go to your article from that link. I can take a clip, which I'll show in a minute. I can print, I can download, all right? Um, you cannot save to your folder at the moment. We don't have individual accounts. You can copy the link and you can put that like in, um, a Google Classroom, or you could put it into a Google Slide or a, a Google Doc. And again, it won't make you log in again to NewsBank if you use that link. So I'm going to hit the back button for a second here. And I'm going to show you how to clip. Oh, I thought I was thinking. Okay, so let's say, and it took me back to the first page, I'm going to use my scissors here and hit clip. Now it tells me select a clip to download or print. I have to click this blue box and then it will give me a blued out area here to select something if I want to select something. So I'm going to take this picture of the boys that are cross country running here and I'm going to hit uh, save to Google Drive. I could do any of these options. If you're on a laptop in the library, you could hit print or you could download a PDF if you're on your Chromebook or save to Google Drive. When I hit to save, save to Google Drive, I say, yes, I want to include my citation and I want it to be Modern Language Association, MLA. I'm going to hit save. Now, what does it save as? Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's calling this. I didn't give me an option to name it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this item right here that says see files saved to Google Drive. Now, here it is, it says news article, Observer Dispatched Utica, New York. So I may wanna to go to my Google Drive and look for that, and I might wanna right click on it and rename it Picture of Cross Country, okay? But that's how you can save a clip. Now I'm gonna go back a couple of times here, 
and I am going to do a search in the Observer Dispatch. So here, let's say I want to search for VBS Middle School. I'm going to use quotes, Vernon, Verona, Cheryl, Middle School. All right. I have it in quotes because I want to keep all those words together. I don't want them to separate and be looking for middle, could be middle road or something. Instead, I want it to look for middle school, Vernon, Verona, Cheryl Middle School. Just like you would put in global warming, two words together, put quotes around it, or presidential election, put the quotes around it. So now I'm going to see some returns, and it's going to keep Vernon, Verona, Cheryl Middle School together. So I know this article is about the National Junior Honor Society. This one is about uh, schools to watch. So if I have a topic, I could do a search up here in the search box. Now, I could also search by VBS Middle School. It might make sense to do that as well because the computer looks exactly for these words. All right, if you have any questions about NewsBank, feel free to ask any of your librarians. Have a good day.